What is your? I wish I had started doing that earlier in my life. Saving. Getting in a habit of exercising. Eating right. Forcing myself to be less lazy, more active. Not caring what others think. Not caring what people thought of me as much. Start giving myself more credit. Always thought being self-critical made me work harder. It just made me miserable. Skin care and gym. Working out, if I am being honest. Giving a shit about my 401k. I don't know who needs to hear this right now. But if my words can help just one person I'll be satisfied. A lot of people keep saying how they wish they cared less about what people thought about them. But this kind of thing doesn't just come out of nowhere. You can't just will into existence the not caring thing. A lot of people are missing the driving force behind not giving much credence to what people say about you. It's a symptom of something much deeper. They are missing a certain level of love for themselves. For example, if you spend most of your life being insecure about how weird your personality is, you aren't really comfortable in your own skin, are you? As a result, self-esteem issues arise and you start to seek validation from external sources, i.e. those around you. Because you aren't getting it from you, you need to learn how to love yourself first and foremost. And then auxiliary issues such as social anxiety, insecurity, and how important others' opinions of you are kind of just sort themselves out. Putting my goals and happiness above what my family expected, wanted of my life. It took me 25 miserable years to realize that what my family wanted my life to be was dramatically different from what I really wanted and needed to be happy. It's important to understand what you want from life and to go for that even if it's not what your family wants for you. If your family loves you they'll support you regardless. If they choose not to support you, fine. Fill your life with people who love you and support your happiness wellness. It might be hard to let go of toxic familial expectations, but it's always worth it taking better care of my teeth. I really regret not taking dental health seriously because now I have two broken molars and other problems with my teeth that will probably end up costing me a lot of money to fix. This isn't very deep but using a prescription strength antiperspirant. I stuck to black or white shirts till my mid-twenties because of my sweat problem. Believing in myself opening up my taste in music. Listening to only one genre robs yourself of some amazing artists and albums. I wish I stopped outing myself. Learning a different language. Dieting better. It's amazing how different your body and mind feels when you eat healthier. Sleeping at a reasonable hour. I still struggle with it because I've had this messed up sleep schedule for so long. It's definitely worth it though no more headaches in the middle of the day. And I'm much more productive. Stop drinking. Understanding that 99.9% .9 of the time nobody gives a single fuck about what I think. And that that's okay. Taking birth control solely to ease cramps. Jesus Christ, I wish someone had told me this was an option at 16. 18. I think I vaguely knew in my 20s but didn't do the fucking research and would forget. I finally got off my ass at 35 and my day-to-day -day life is immeasurably better. No cramps. No wild mood swings. My skin doesn't break out anymore. Fuck sake this would have done so much for my health and self-confidence my whole life. Going to the gym and living healthy.